And obviously by, by doing this, it will save me a lot of time, effort, um, and and having to think. And because sometimes, Ryan, I don't think people realize, but see when you're busy and like one minute you're doing something else, and then you're like, oh shit, I need to do some tweets. Sometimes your yeah. brain just can't think. You just don't have five minutes to sit and go, what can I put out there that I haven't put out before that mm -hmm. is going to add value? So I think using an AI agent to do your thinking for you, whilst being quality, is is something I think is insane. Yeah, um, 100%. Um, and I think that's the, the beauty of this as well, is that because I know it was important to you to be able to kind of look at this and QC it and make sure you're happy before it went and did anything else. So you can attach this to an automation. You can attach this to a scheduler. You can attach it directly to your Twitter and it could just send it, but you then yeah. run the risk of, you know, for example, uh, example number one going out where you're like behind closed doors, that would be fine to talk about, but it might be maybe not suitable for Twitter, but the other four might be perfect. Yeah. So we're giving you really the hands-on to say, um, you know, I hate this or I love this, or this is great for Twitter, but you don't have to think about it. You can just, tr with, like we've already been trained on what you do. You just have to think of a topic and you can go through as many topics as you want. Um, you know, if you're really struggling for ideas, we're going to keep a database of everything that you produce so that you can just go back in time and say, actually, I didn't use any of these. Let me use them instead. Um. So no, I think the, the output is great um, and in my style and ab absolutely unique.